right, so it's uh, it's backwards, but perfectly fitting. Perfectly fucking fitting for today's, tonight's chest workout. So, basic plan. Oh, oh yeah, oh, this kind of sucks. So this gym doesn't have any fucking Smith machines in it. It, but it did used to have two old school ones. I, they're kind of fucking me a little bit, but what are you going to do? So, whatever. Probably going to start off with incline barbell. Uh, probably a couple sets, you know, see what I can still throw around. Uh, I've only had like, maybe, I, I, it's tracked. Like, I, I track all my macros on the stupid, simple macro tracker, obviously. There's no way to consistently change the way your body looks without doing that. So, obviously, everything's getting tracked. But I've had about, I think maybe 1,600 calories today. Uh, right now, it's not difficult for me to actually, um, you know, stay away from food. Just because I'm so, uh, <laughs> I'm like so fucking tired of being, uh, of like bulking, you know, and eating when I'm not hungry. So... I was saying this in the last video, for the first few, well, honestly, probably maybe the, just the next couple of days, staying in a deficit will be absolutely zero fucking problem for me, because I'm still, you know, de carb depleting, but once I'm pretty much as flat as I'll be, my body's pretty much going to say, all right, well, now you got to start eating food, right? You're making us break into your fat stores, not... That's not cool, man. We wanna we wanna be nice and fed. So that's when I start to get uh, when I will uh, start to get a little bit more hungry, and it'll be a little bit more difficult for me to stay at. Yeah, I'm gonna lock it into 2,500 for at least the next week. Obviously, if I feel like that's too low, like if my weight drops too fast, then I'll up it. But considering this isn't gonna be like a straight up, you know, show leanness dieting, it's just a break from the bulk. I'm not concerned with any muscle loss. So the way I go about it, I said this in the last video, but I'll I'll reference it again. Considering, I mean, you know, the cut is a fucking pretty important aspect of, well, that's literally what we're fucking doing. So dieting, you know, and the food that I'm eating, that's a really fucking important aspect of it. Same with bulking, but, you know, for me, my bulking foods have a little bit less thought. It's more so just get them down. But, uh... What the fuck was I about to say? Well, now I forget. Well, whatever. So, basic plan. Let's get the workout's going to be incline bench as a start. Maybe I'll do some. And maybe I'll get some chest press machines going. Honestly, that could be pretty good. And then I'll probably just finish off with some, you know, cable presses or cable flies. Uh, you know, I'm going to my school's rec my school's rec center, and it's only like, you know, two blocks away from where I live. So, if I was actually just going without recording, I would have just rode my bike. But, I didn't want to deprive you of the car talk, so, I just kind of did a fucking loop. But, whatever, let's get in there, I'm going to get warmed up, and then, uh, we'll, we'll just jump straight to the first working set. I tell you what, the safeties are nice. That was a lot easier than having to fucking throw it over my knees. Okay, let's re-rack this shit and do uh, at least two more. 
Let's do one more set with three plates, but whew, I'm gonna have to do a drop set. Fucking, was that only nine and a half? No carbs is hitting me quick. Dude, that was a fucking badass drop set. Three plates, I get eight reps, and that ninth one was a fucking grinder. I'm so pissed I didn't record it. But who gives a fuck? The important thing is I fucking did it. So, it was, uh, it was nine reps of three, and then like five normal reps with two plates, and then just burn out with partials. So three sets done. I'm gonna do some cable. That's, that's, it's kind of a cable press, but it's also kind of a cable fly. Because it's not just like this motion, but it's not a complete fly either. It's more of a combination of the two. So you're kind of getting that squeeze in the middle, plus, you know, a lot of tension in the back. You get the idea. So at least one of these, maybe two. I'll see how it feels. We want to do a chest press, I think. I think that'll be a good move. But that felt pretty good. It's kind of, well, I don't know. With this kind of movement, honestly, I don't really prefer to do partials. I'd probably rather go a little lighter and squeeze extra hard at the top. But that was a good set. Definitely getting fucking pumped. Okay, I'll probably do a drop set here too. Totally overestimated the strength. That's okay. One more. machine kind of sucks well actually no I mean let's think about this logically I do feel some fatigue in my chest but I don't like the feeling of it I'm gonna move on to something else let's get a set of pec flies in I think that will feel pretty good right now and it's not like in my mind I thought to myself okay I have just finished three sets of bench at RPE 8.7. I think some cable presses will activate my inner fibers more effectively. And then one set of cable press will help define the outer sweep of my lower pec. It's now time. That's my cue to do some pectoral flies. No, I'm thinking, all right, I just fucked the shit out of my chest on those bench sets. Solid burn on the cables. Press is also burned. Well, let's do some flies. Well, don't think about it too hard, you know. 
presses in the beginning, heavy, and then you know flies or lighter presses where you focus on squeezing at the end. You know, I could do a fucking million kinds of chest workouts, but if it follows that specific outline, it's gonna be sick. So let's fucking throw this shit around. <laughs> This brings up a pretty fucking interesting point. So, this gym in this exact spot right in front of this little mirror was an old peck deck, probably from the fucking 80s. How much fucking money do you think they paid the designer, like the mechanical engineer, whatever, to design this peck deck? I don't know, I'm just proposing the question. And that old one felt way fucking better. You know, in terms of like bodybuilding training, I think there's a, there's no benefit apart from novelty to overcomplications. You know, what's the point if the dude, like if the old, the old, uh, like the old head of the gym just tells you, all right, well, fucking, why, why aren't you going hard on curls? You're not even grunting. Well, I'm doing my RPE six curls. Come on. You, you get what I'm trying to say. Don't. Don't oversimplify it, just fucking go hard. And I guess that also ended up being a inadvertent roast of this uh, Nautilus peck deck. But I'm gonna fucking move on, fuck this thing. I was working in with the guy, so didn't, uh, didn't do any commentary before that first set of flies, but I got three sets of chest left. I'm thinking, eh, I'm thinking two more sets are just normal flies. And the last one I'll do a fancy little drop set. Final set, really just trying to fucking finish off the pump. So the first portion will look exactly like the last three or two, I did, whatever. Right here to here, standing up normal. Then I'll drop the weight and do more like a high to low fly, which I'll just feel a lot more stretch, especially in the lower pec. You know, I'm not one to be doing decline bench, I mean, literally ever, but you're definitely gonna wanna stretch out the lower pecs, at least a little development. Obviously, they're prone to overdevelopment. That's why I do so much, uh, so much friggin' incline. But in enough talk, let's just finish off. Let's go check the pump. There we go. Now this is some freaky fucking lighting. This is the best lighting of this gym. It's its own little side room. Unfortunately, it's also like the perfect habitat for girls to do ab workouts. So luckily since it's not packed right now, I get to enjoy the awesome lighting. But that was a good chest day. Even though numerically way weaker than previous lifts, because, you know, I've done lifts where fucking, you know, when I was bulking, 365 for like two sets and then 315 for like five more. And then I moved on to flies. But name of the game with the, uh, you know, when I'm dieting is I'm really just trying to get some, get exposed to some heavy weight in the beginning. Because lifting heavy weight or as heavy as you can 
when you're dieting, it's definitely going to help you hold on to some muscle and some strength. But after that, I didn't really care so much about the weight. I was going for the squeeze and the burn. So let's make sure the uh, exposure is at a freaky level. Perfect. Let's see what we're working with chest-wise. So hypothetically, this will be the softest that I am on this cut, and it'll only get better. Come on. There we go. Okay, we're working with, we're cooking with gas. Oh, Jesus. I didn't realize how wet this shirt was. You can't even see it on camera. So even without any fucking carbs today, pretty much. I think that's still a freaky pump. I mean, come on. Okay, now this is like cheating. This is just fucking goon lighting. No, so, and honestly, I'd say I probably prefer an empty gym. Just due to the fact that I don't have to deal with any kind of, like, waiting for shit. I get to do whatever the fuck I want. I do kind of, I like feeding off the energy of people around me, though. There's a fucking hair in the back of my mouth. That's really bothering me. But it can never bother me so much that I won't be able to enjoy this fucking pump. So I'd say three more seconds of, well, a couple more seconds of goon light enjoyment. And then we can go, uh, let's, let's, let's get back to reality. Ooh. So I'm, I'm blowing all the air out of my lungs so I can hit a freaky vacuum. There we go. Ooh. Let's get the fuck out of here. Let's get in that freaking car. There we go. Perfect. That was a yeah, dang good chest day. I tell you what. I tell you what. So cluster dextrin shake is still going down. Post workout, I want some easily digestible carbs in my system, but I don't need that much. I don't want to waste my carbs just drinking them. So instead of the usual 50 grams of protein, 100 grams of carbs worth of, you know, the cluster dextrin. This is just 25 grams of protein, one scoop of the ISO H1, and then one scoop of the, uh, well, not a, well, 25 grams worth of the cluster dextrin. So I'm going to go home and eat a little bit of a something or other after this, but still got to slam this. Perfect. So, ah, uh, crap. I think the, yeah, I'll just, well, whatever, I think it's good. Usually when I start the car, it fucks up the video because the Bluetooth connects. But assuming that doesn't happen, uh, let's go home and eat some kind of uh, something. I'm kind of lucky because all my classes, I don't have any for longer than um, about, well, I have a few. So I have, I basically have to leave the house from, eight till one so i am gonna have to pack one meal when i go to class but the classes i have after that i have about an hour break in between them or an hour and a half so i could just you know bike back to the house and then make some food and then leave again plus it's sick that i don't even have to fucking eat that much food you know there's no 
<laughs> you know, I only, I've only got 2,500 calories, man. That's, uh, that is nothing. Well, it's not nothing, but it's, um, it's nowhere near six. Jesus. So, plan when I get home, I'm probably going to cook about 80 grams of protein worth of, uh, fuck, what is it? 90, I think it's 92% ground beef. So, obviously, I'm going to try to strain off as much of that fat as possible. But, I'll probably do that with some, you know, zero, low sugar, you know, no sugar added sweet baby rays. As well as, as well as something else, you know. I definitely have some more carbs to play with, but you know, not really trying to eat foods that are super calorie dense. Like I just went to the grocery store. I got a oh yeah, I know, I'll, I'll eat one of these too. Fucking, I swear this is the fucking easiest hack when dieting is getting keto bread. Uh, I just got some bread. It's, uh, it's just a whole loaf. And in each slice, or maybe it's in each two slices. I'm not completely sure. I need to look at the macros again. But it's fucking 12 grams of carbs. Right? So 12, I think 12 grams of carbs per slice. But use your eyes. Look real close. Underneath the carbs on the nutrition label is insoluble fiber and then soluble fiber now insoluble fiber means that your body can't fucking process it you know that's um so basically those 11 grams of carbs in the slice of bread which is made of insoluble fiber it's not getting digested it's not getting broken down so you're not using it as energy it's just passing through you so that means each slice only has one fucking gram of carbs. So it definitely doesn't taste as good as legit bread. And it's not giving you that satiated feeling of, you know, a blood sugar spike. But it is taking the place of a slice of bread and a sandwich. Pretty much, I'd say, maybe 75% is enjoyable. Like, it's definitely not the same as straight up bread. You know, it, uh, you know something's a little different with it. But, dude, it's, it's like fucking not negligible carbs. I still got to count it in the macro tracker. But that turns, you know, one sandwich, which could be fucking 30 grams of carbs, into two. There's some fat in there as well you got to count, but it's, uh, it's definitely the way to go. I'll probably make a little turkey sandwich too. So, when it comes to condiments, dieting, I mean, mustard is the fucking name of the game. You know, I'll, you can put mux, mux, you can put mustard on basically anything. You know, you could put mustard on tilapia, you could put mustard on egg whites, you could put mustard on chicken, on turkey. Mustard's where it's at. Same with hot sauce. This is a uh, this is basic shit to anybody who knows what a calorie deficit's like. Ooh. There's two deer right next to me. So uh, the mustard. There's no fucking calories in it. It's just the ground on mustard seeds and like vinegar. It's, just, it's perfect. It's the best. Now, I don't want to just eat a turkey sandwich with mustard and lettuce on it. I want a little bit of mayonnaise. So, light mayonnaise, that's where it's at. The fucking squeeze tube. How, how am I going to measure that out? How do I know how much mayonnaise I put on my fucking sandwich? That's when the fucking food scale comes into play. God damn it. So, I'll make a little, uh, you know, I'll put... I'll put a little paper plate down on this food scale, throw on, you know, I don't know how many, how many, maybe four or six ounces of turkey, weigh it out, track the amount of protein that's in that, in the macro tracker, then I'll fucking zero out the scale, squeeze some mayonnaise on it, make sure I don't, you know, do a fucking ton, so I don't, like, just bust through a shit ton of calories from the fats in the mayonnaise, and then, you know, let's say I throw on... 12 grams of the, or 20 grams of the low-fat mayonnaise. And the serving size says, for every, uh, yeah, so 20 grams of the low-fat mayonnaise, and the serving size says, 20 grams of, uh, 20 grams is one serving, and that equates to, I don't know, 10 grams of fat. Guess what? It's, it's fucking simple math. So, 
I plugged the one serving into the fucking macro tracker. It, uh, so I, you got to look this up. This is absolutely essential to losing weight on a consistent basis. Now, weight, obviously I'm talking about fucking fat. You got to track your fucking macros. It's going to be impossible to make consistent progress without it, or at least so difficult that it's not even feasible for the majority of anybody who would try it. So, and I know it's crazy. I know you, it seems like you got fucking OCD. To the general, you know, just the normal layman, if you explain to somebody, okay, every time I eat, I have to know exactly how much I ate, and I know I have to know exactly how many carbs and protein are in it. I have to. I have to. Every day, I have to track it. Every day. I mean, you, you sound fucking crazy, but that's how you got to do it. That's the only way you're, you're going to be able to stick to 2,500 calories or whatever your, your limit is. Now, in no way am I recommending dieting outright. The whole point that, uh, the, whole, the only reason I'm, you know, trying to trim down right now is because I got to take a break from the bulk. You know, I did a proper bulk beforehand. So my body fat's a little bit higher than baseline. And you know, I've been bulking for so hard, I'm plateaued. There's no more muscle to be gained, pretty much. Not feasibly, at least. So I gotta take a step back, let my metabolism kind of reset, trim off some, uh, some excess body fat. Also, just to get lean, because it's cool. But, you know, I've already built a solid amount of muscle beforehand. So in the context of a new lifter or someone who's looking into lifting, or, you know, just beginning, and they're kind of thinking to themselves, okay, do I bulk or do I cut? Well, let's, let's say, let's describe, you know, uh, like a skinny fat type dude. Just by going into the gym, doing like hard workouts, maybe, like even just look up workouts. Like look up a Jeff Nipper chest workout. Or, you know, so-and-so, like honestly, as a beginner, you, you don't really know what you're doing yet. You need to build up some experience first, which is perfectly fine. That's the way to fucking do it. You know, I couldn't even imagine how many people there are out there who have a little bit of an itch to go to the gym, but they just don't take that step to do it. Like, oh, that, they're like, oh, that would, it would be cool if I did that. Eh, I don't want to, you know. So they're thinking about fucking, oh, I don't want people to look at me funny or this and that and this, that, and the other. So if that's you, they would just fucking... Muster up some, muster up some enthusiasm. Look up a, look up a workout. Best, best case scenario, you just have a buddy who lifts and is pretty advanced, and you just have him take you under his wing. You know, have him uh, basically just fucking coach you. And then, you know, just from doing that for long enough, if you lift kind of hard, ideally you do your cardio as well. But that, I know that's definitely kind of a hard step for the beginner. And then eat your protein, about a gram of protein per day. No, a gram, <laughs> whoa, no, <laughs> a gram per pound of body weight of protein per day. There we go. Just by, as, as a beginner, untrained dude, just by hitting your protein every day, a gram per pound of body weight, and combining that with lifting, you know, let's, let's say you even go just like three times a week, four times a week, uh, just as much as you can do to kind of get into it. And when you lift, you actually do push yourself. After a couple of months, you should notice some fucking differences. Now, over time, you'll get more advanced. You'll start to understand more about lifting. And you just, I mean, just by getting more experience, you're going to be a better lifter. Right? It makes sense. The longer you do something, the better you'll get at it. So as a beginner, you'll, your fucking main goal should just be to get in the gym on a consistent basis. And if you can go from not doing that to doing that... That is a fucking huge step. You're differentiating yourself from a massive fucking population who want to get want to get into it, but just uh, yeah, I, I'm not sure. Whatever. Maybe next week. But the maybe next week is probably the last thing you ever want to tell yourself as a beginner. You know, I think we've all seen. Uh, oh shit! What is it? Which Rocky is it? Um. Ah, shit. It's the one where Creed is training Rocky. Rocky, no, 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 tomorrow, tomorrow. There is no tomorrow. That shit will get you going. That, yeah, that, okay, this is what you gotta do. If you've never lifted, fucking watch a couple of the Rocky movies. 
get a buddy who you know works out, or if you don't have one, suck it up, get in there yourself, and get going. This turned into a talking about the lifts to talking about the dieting to talking about motivation, whatever. You really only, if that's you, you really have the only thing you have is uh, no, no. What's what am I? How am I trying to say this right now? You only have something to gain from starting, if you want to. That is, if you if you got that little itch in the back of your mind. I, I kind of want to get in shape. You literally only have benefits to fucking reap. Both physical and mental. So. If that's you, if for whatever reason you saw this video as an untrained dude. And you watched all the way to the end. Maybe that'll, uh, maybe that'll get you going. But. Regardless of whether you do or not. I know I'm going to keep going. So plan now is. Eat. Shower off, take my vitamins, take my freaking, uh, take my Accutane. I got a few months of that. And then, uh, blah, blah, blah. I go to bed. We're fucking done. I will, uh, I will see you next time.